They are watching out for you this morning. This school year, obviously unlike any other before, now parents are being asked to take on a new role when it comes to their child's education. News 5's Renee Skinner is joining us live this morning with more on how to make learning at home just a little bit easier for kids and parents. Renee, good morning. That's right, Bree. Good morning. And if you're one of those parents who has a long to do list in the morning, you're not alone. Chances are you're watching over your child's e learning while working at home yourself, which is why tip number one is get organized. Experts say parents need to get organized at a time like this. If there's anything the majority of parents can agree upon in these divisive times, it's this remote learning is downright hard. In the spirit of making it a bit easier, though, parents should also consider creating a clean space for kids to do their learning at school. Kids have one place for all their stuff to go, and it's going to be a huge help to do the same thing at home. Once you create a learning space, then it's time to create a visual schedule they can follow and stick to have them follow a routine as if they're actually going to school instead of lying in bed in their PJs, which could also lead to less learning. Schedules and routines are just as important as if they were actually going to a schoolhouse every day. Factor in time to exercise or go for a walk throughout the day to break up the hours of homework and schoolwork that they may have. And speaking of breaking up the hours of homework students tend to have, breaks are really important, especially for those kids with learning and attention issues. So parents should make sure to build those in throughout the day. It's also important to make sure those distractions are put away. And parents, if you do feel overwhelmed, it's okay to feel that way. You may not have all the answers now, but it's important to also communicate with your child's teacher about all the educational planning that is going into remote learning. And keep in mind, these tactics won't necessarily make remote learning perfect, but they should ease the stress and help parents, students and educators navigate through these chaotic times. Always watching out for you, El Paso County. Renee Skinner, News 5. Thank